hi everyone it's Michelle welcome back so it is Wednesday again time for things I tried this week and what I thought and I actually bought a couple of new items so I thought I would talk about them briefly because I've I purchased them and I've definitely tried them and um, another item that I've had for a few weeks and I just sort of started playing with and I can give you my thoughts on that as well so let's jump in with the items that I bought and uh, so the first one is the Tom Ford item from the fall collection and I was really sort of frustrated because my person at my Neiman Marcus didn't call me when they got this in and so by the time you know I really wanted to purchase it they didn't have any more so I had to track it down but I caved in and bought the Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder Duo in Mood Light um, and I'm sure you've all seen this a bazillion times. It is the two-sided highlighter. Um, this, the top, the bottom color is, you know, sort of a really pretty peachy tan. And then it has a really, you know, soft um, champagne-ish color, I'll call it. Um, I don't know if my, with my lighting today if you'll be able to see. This is the darker one, and this is the lighter one. I really do love this palette. So today I am wearing the darker color, the uh, peachy color. It's sort of a peachy tan if you ask me, um, as my blush. I love it for a blush, especially for summertime. It is like, if you have fair to light skin, it is like the perfect sort of bronzy glow. Um, I think you can probably see it with my lighting especially inside uh, even today with the lighting being so poor um, I love it these are very soft they apply beautifully to the skin this lighter one is beautiful as a soft highlight because it is just so um, it's just barely there so it's not over the top so for a more mature skin or someone who's it's a day look or whatever these are beautiful they're beautiful as eyeshadows they're just beautiful. Um, yes, it was expensive. This will last forever. Um, and I love it. I think you can still probably track it down at Nordstrom online. Maybe it is limited edition or maybe at TomFord.com. It's beautiful. If you can get your hands on it and you like these kind of shades, it is gorgeous and I love it. Okay. The next thing I bought, I also, uh, I don't know if I talked about the Tom Ford one on Instagram. The next item I did talk about on Instagram, and it is a limited edition Chantecai eye palette. And this is, a, it's called Olivia's Everyday Eyes. And it is, I believe right now, exclusive to Neiman Marcus. Um, it is a three pan shadow palette with, um, it has a big mirror here. I'm trying not to blind you guys, it's very shiny. Um, and it does come with a little brush. So this comes with three full size Chantecaille shadows. Um, they're not limited edition shadow colors, so you could go and build this trio at Nordstrom or wherever, but it is a better deal if you buy it already put together. I think this was $76, and I think if you put it together it would be over $100. They're beautiful, beautiful shadows. I don't own any of these shadows, uh, these colors. I love this formula of the Chantecaille shadows as well. It is different from the the eye duos, the sort of baked duos that I use as well, but these are beautiful shadows. The, the colors in here are Java, Chocolate, and Opal, I believe are the three colors. I'll swatch them for you. There's no mattes in here. The, the Opal is more of a satin. So there they are, you can see. They're beautiful. This, this color is just stunning. Um, this is a really pretty palette for every day. It's just beautiful every day. So there they are swatched. The light colors in the middle, you can kind of see it. They're beautiful everyday shadows. You could wear any of them on the lid as a one sort of shadow look. You could do a smokier eye with it because this is deep enough for that. They're beautiful, beautiful shadows. The formula is beautiful. Um, if you like these sort of tones, I highly recommend the palette. It comes in a little case like this. I don't know that I will use the case for anything, but um, let's see what it says. Olivia's Everyday Eyes, curated by Olivia Chantecai, exclusively for Neiman Marcus. Each velvety smooth shade blends effortlessly to create a versatile range of looks from neutral to smoky. Um, 
the paraben free shades are refillable. For those of you who don't know that about Chantecaille palettes, even when they do a limited edition palettes, the shadows are just magnetized in there and you can switch them out if, you know, if you want to travel with this and you want to switch out a shade or something like that. Um, or if you run out of one and you still have the others and you're still loving it, you can just buy whatever shade you're out of. Um, I love Chantecaille palettes for that specific reason as well. Or you can just buy the shadows and put them in a Z palette if you don't want, you know. But this is a pretty good deal when it comes to Chantecaille shadows. $76 for three full-size shadows. These are huge pans of shadow. And like I said, I love the formula. I forgot to wear this today. I was going to wear it today so you could see. They're so beautiful on. They're creamy, creamy shadows. They lay beautifully on the skin. Um, if I wear a primer, they don't crease. I get really long wear out of them. Totally in love with this as well. So those were the two items that sort of I bought this week and tried. This other item is something I purchased a little bit longer ago, a few weeks ago, and I tried it once and I was kind of like, mmm, and then I decided I was going to start playing with it this week, and I think I like it. So let's talk about it. It is the new MAC mascara. Uh, it is called Upward Lash, Upward Black, um, and it is... It's a new mascara formula and brush. So the brush is teeny tiny and it's a rubber brush. And the idea is that it's, you can, because it's so small, you can get it to the base of the lash and really sort of coat the lash with the mascara. So here's what I think of this. I, um, in the, the first few times I used it, I was like, mm, I don't know about this. Now I really do like it. It gives me a real thick look to the base of my lash. Um, I put two coats on, two sort of light coats. Um, with a brush like this, you have to make sure you don't have too much product on there or it's gonna get really clumpy on the lashes because there's not enough bristles to sort of separate the lashes at that point. So make sure there's not too much on the brush if you go in to do it, but it does make the base of your lash very, very thick. I think it gives decent volume. But it makes them look, in my opinion, makes my lashes look really, really thick. Um, and I, with two coats, it's really good. Um, I will say, so the other um, thing they talk about this is upward lash. So it's supposed to really help your lashes stay curled upward. My lashes are very, very straight. It does help, it does help. Uh, by three or four hours my lashes are back to being straight so it does not keep my lashes up straight I haven't found a mascara yet that does um, and I don't like really using a waterproof mascara because uh, you just have to pull on it too much to get it off and I don't I can't use an oil cleanser because my eyes get too irritated so I do like this um, I haven't decided if I'll purchase it again or not but I think that if you like a little brush like this or if you have challenges because you have a bunch of stubby little lashes in there this could help you um, be able to get down to them and not get mascara all over your lid that's the problem i have with the bigger brush is when i try to get down to some of my puny lashes i end up with mascara on my eyelids and stuff which is not helpful um, so again this is upward lash upward black by mac and i i'm kind of enjoying it i also like that the package looks like a big lipstick tube that's kind of new for them too so those are the three things that I tried this week and what I thought about them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing that. Um, please share with us, with us in the comments what items you tried this week and whether you liked them or not. I love reading everybody's sort of comments and what they tried and that kind of thing. That is it for today. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and I will talk to you all again soon.